what I'm what I just read to you guys, the Omicron and the Corona, whatever, what I just read to you guys, the constellation, that began this year in 2021, because that is the that is the I don't know what second or third uh, strain that came from the coronavirus, right? So it seems that every four years something prophetic is taking place, a prophetic movement, a prophetic shift, paradigm shift is taking place. Okay. I believe within my whole spirit that we are entering the seven year tribulation. I believe that, that we are entering the seven year tribulation. I do. All signs are pointing to it. It's man. I know I I know I <laughs> I'm just letting the Holy Spirit flow. I know I started it with one message and ended up another way, but that's how the Holy Spirit goes. <laughs> but I had to bring that to you guys because that is something very significant, I believe. And I believe that we don't have much time left here. We don't. Like I said, we're uh Revelation 12 is manifesting right now. It's manifesting. The Lord is getting ready to take us into the wilderness and hide us away. The rapture is not yet. It's not yet. Almost. A couple things have to happen before that. But I believe that the Lord is sending his angels soon to, to gather up his children and, and hide us from the face of the enemy. For a time, a time, and time, and a half a time, right? Was it three and a half years, I believe? 2,034 days? Yeah. So, this is where we're at. This is where we're at. Uh, stay close to God, you guys. I know it's, 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 it's saying it's hard is an understatement, but you know what I mean. You guys know, you guys know how heavy it is. You guys know how, how heavy our crosses are to carry. But we're the ones that were chosen to carry them. And we can do it with God. We can do it. So I love you guys. Um, if I left anything out, I don't. Oh uh, yeah, thank you for the spirit. So, okay. If you go back in this video later, right, if you rewatch it and and you listen to the um, when, the part when I was reading, right, and you see all the parts where I mentioned a third of this, you know, a third of that. So the dragon's tail, right, drew a third of the stars of heaven, right? There's something, there is something with a third. I don't know. But there's something with a third because it's repeated over and over and over. And Satan drew uh, uh, the dragon, Satan. He drew a third of the angels. I mean, a third of the stars of heaven, which are the angels, drew them down with him. So I just wanted to mention that just in case anybody else, you know, can give a. Uh, uh, revelation on that if anybody has revelation from uh, from the Holy Spirit uh, just throwing that out there but um, I love you guys to life and hold on stay strong in the Lord and stay close to him keep your eyes on him try your best not to worry don't worry about anything because the Lord has us okay I did not come on here to incite fear or none of that because we know that the Lord did not give us a spirit of fear but of power love and a sound mind right so you know, just just come on here, like the Lord begging me to, and and just to let you guys know what's going on. And it fired me up with that with that Travis Scott interview at first. So I think that's <laughs> I think that was the catalyst that pushed me to hop on here this morning. But um, thank God for that, and <sighs> praise the Most High God, and and <sighs> we love you, Lord. And I thank you every single day for even giving me breath to wake up because I don't deserve it. I don't. And I know that. Uh, but I love you guys to life, and I hope you guys have a blessed day. And it's cold out here. Um, if you see somebody in need, you got extra clothes, extra jacket, extra anything, help them out. You know, give a homeless person some socks. You know, help somebody. You know that that's in need that can that that you that you are in your well in your capabilities to help. Okay.
Don't just pray for somebody and just keep them, keep pushing. If you're in your ability to, to do something about it, then help them out and do something about it. All right? What was God's, uh, 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 God's top commandments? Right? To love God with all your heart, mind, and soul and, and everything in you. And to love and take care of his people. All right? I love you guys. And uh, we'll end this with the benediction, which is Romans 8 to 8. <laughs> for we know all things work to good for for we know excuse me for we know that all things work for good for those see the devil is a lie every time i get on here to say the benediction he get he tries to block my memory of it for we know that all things work together for the good of them that love god and those who are called according to his purposes Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you guys. Talk to you guys later. Bye.